What's up everyone, I'm Rick Rich Dick, and this week we're reviewing Port of Earth number one. It's an alien come to Earth sci-fi story with a twist on par with M. Night Shyamalan. Dead. These aliens don't come in peace, and they don't come in war. They come for business. Extraterrestrial tech is water-based, and they want to make Earth a fueling port. The first half of the book moves pretty quick, getting the reader up to speed, but to do that, writer Zach Kaplan uses a lot of ellipses, exposition, and news clips. It's not a fun way to learn about a very fun comic. Dude. And the last bit of need-to-know information is an interview discussing how many humans were killed by aliens. I can't tell if the writer or the artist, Andrea Moody, was the lazy one here. But somebody slacked on their job and gave us two pages of interviewing rather than two pages of alien mayhem, which is why we're all here, isn't it? Dude. Colorist Vladimir Popov keeps the colors just as bland as the visual storytelling. Dude. Here's the Port of Earth. The aliens strike a deal to use our water as a means for fuel, and they will trade their secrets on how to turn water into energy. The tentative meshing of cultures doesn't last long before violence erupts. Instead of turning into a full-blown galactic war, this book offers a pleasant surprise with the powers that be. On Earth and in the stars, decide that Earth must police itself as well as the aliens that visit our planet. These are our... heroes? Rice is the brunette and McIntyre is the blonde. They're part of the ESA. That's Earth Security Agency. I think we're supposed to understand the world through their eyes, but their banter is an exaggerated version of every other buddy cop film you've ever seen. Dude. But here is why the book is worth getting. It's an original idea. Granted with some bad dialogue, overused character relationships, and bleak artwork, but the writer and artist really know their bleak world well. The variant cover shows Earth's galactic coordinates and presents information like a flyer a human might find on the streets in this story. In the back, you see a breakdown of each alien. For knowing every detail about their world, mixing science fiction with real planar studies, and giving up on the details, Port of Earth gets a 6 on the Richter scale. What do you think about the corporate takeover of Earth? Let us know in the comments below. Like the video so we can be projected into the cosmos. Share with all your alien buddies and come back next week for more. Dude.